Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because spring is on the horizon. It was eight degrees out today and I was just really, really excited to get some spring decor in our home. We finally took down that Christmas wreath on the front door, put up our spring wreath. So that's really the sign for me that spring is on its way. So in today's video, we are going to do a quick clean and I'm going to be tablescaping our dining room table for our Easter brunch. It's my very first time hosting the extended family for Easter, so it's very exciting. And we're also going to be doing a DIY, which I think turned out amazing. So stay around for that at the end of the video. But first, I'm just doing my Sunday fridge routine, taking out any old leftover containers and tossing them. I'm wiping down the drawers and restocking the fridge for this week's meals. I always find it helpful to start in the kitchen when I'm doing one of these Sunday cleaning routines. So getting all my counters clear and tidy just kind of helps me set the tone of what I'd like the whole house to look like. And this is the most used room in our house, so it always seems to get messy every single day. So I start here, simple 10 minutes tops, and then I'm able to go ahead and tackle everything else on my to-do list. You're the traveling kind, it's a known fact. Yeah, I know that. In the spirit of spring, I picked up my very first bunch of tulips this year and I also got some filler flowers which are kind of like baby's breath but it was kind of like lavender as well so I'm not really sure what type of flower that was. But I just did two bouquets up, one for the counter and one for the table and I really loved how it turned out. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite color of tulip is. Personally, I love yellow tulips, but I only could find pink and purple at my local store. So let me know, what is your favorite tulip color? It's on the line. Show me how you get on down. Close my eyes, take me for a ride. So here is my Easter decor for the year. So just some little things I've been picking up. I'll talk you through some of it. So here are some nice towels I got. Most of the things I got are either from Michael's, HomeSense, or the dollar store for some of it. So these are HomeSense, as is this. This is so heavy too. I have two banners that I'm going to put on our fireplace with some greenery. I have these adorable napkins for the table, so two packs of those. I got these eggs actually at Pier 1, they're closing, so I went in there, they didn't have that much selection left, but because um, they're closing for good in Canada, but 
got these two nice eggs. And then I got this at the dollar store. This is for a DIY that I'll show you later. More eggs from Pure One. Those are just for the table. I found this runner at Winners actually, and I love it because it's so subtle, but still in our house colors. Then I got these guys at HomeSense, as did I get these napkins from HomeSense. And we're gonna use real napkins, those ones over there, and real plates, except for, I was thinking for appetizers, it would be nice to have this out, and these little Peter Rabbit plates. So cute. Um, then I got these from the dollar store for some cupcakes I'm gonna make. These carrots, they look edible, but they're not. Um, I was gonna put these on everyone's plate, so we'll see if that works out and looks okay, or if people are gonna get confused and think it's candy, then it probably isn't a good idea. And then I got these guys for the table as well. And these ones were only $12.99, and they're like quite heavy. Finally, some beets. And that is for a little Easter treat recipe that I will show you. And then these are for our adult Easter egg hunt, which is more so like a clue, like clues and such. I'll explain that one in a later video. Maybe I'll do a host with me video and I'll explain how that works. And then just the serving plate. And this one is only $14.99 from HomeSense. I loved it. So that is everything, and now it's time to start decorating. Instagram, please go over to my account at AfterTap for my instant tapping clean. So you're seeing the whole process here, but there you get that instant satisfaction of going from a complete disaster to a beautiful home. So if you go over to my Instagram, you'll see a whole highlight section of all tap and cleans that I've ever done on that account. And I'd love to have you over there. Say that it's over now that it's over. We used to talk about getting older. We said we hold on, but now it's over. It can't be over. Over.
Next, we tackle the foyer. This is our house's dumping ground, and I swear I do more after tap shots on my Instagram of this area of the house than anything else. Um, so let me know in the comments below where your dumping ground is. Is it a mud room? Is it your front foyer like me? Is it your kitchen? I'm very curious to know how often you have to clean that area. Moving into our atrium, I'm just doing a quick vacuum of the couch. This room is more so a reading room and sometimes I'll work on my laptop on this couch but it doesn't get used that often, but because it's right by the front foyer, it definitely needs a weekly clean and dusting. So I'm going ahead and doing that, and I'm also taking off the pillows that are winter themed. Um, so taking away those snowflake pillows and just leaving our base pillows. I was looking for Easter pillows, but I hadn't found anything that quite suited our house. So if you do know of any good Easter pillows, even a He Is Risen pillow, let me know in the comments below because I'm still on the hunt and we still have time before Easter. Finally, we are tackling that DIY that I mentioned earlier. So I just printed out the text from Peter Rabbit, the story, and I cut them out into single lines and glued them onto these plastic eggs. And they're super cute, just a nice collage. And then while the egg was still wet, I tied some twine around it. And I just think this makes the cutest farmhouse Easter accent. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them at a later time, but there's one just to show you. So that's everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next Sunday. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time Girl, I know what's bothering me Yeah